Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the robot city of Metropolis, where we have, uh, just put an end to a farm animal invasion. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that either. Uh, shout out to Torek00, who says, Those sword guys in Scorch could make a killing as living statue street performers. Look at how long they can keep that pose of the upraised sword. <laughs> oh, yes. And, uh... I thought this one is interesting. Shout out to Elthwar, who uh, says that... There's some cut dialogue from Elora, which says that the Cloud Temples are responsible for creating animals in Avalar. So maybe they're the ones handling the respawning. I find that a very interesting thought. Like it's actually someone's job to bring the animals back to life. Ah, yes, the uh, brilliant inventor droid who created a double power-up. Which gives me both super breath and uh, super flight at the same time. I think I about got this area, though. Up. Up here? Well. Oh, I was just going to glide over there, but okay. Uh, I think there was an elevator out of here anyway. Yeah, there it is. Thank you for moving. I think that would have caught his tail, and that would have been very unfortunate. Oh, right! I actually do need to come to do that. Yeah, I forgot about that chest. I was thinking it would be like those areas where they make the power-ups start draining faster, because they don't want you to have it there, so that's why I was kind of dragging my heels before going down the elevator. But yeah, there's actually a benefit to, uh, doing it quickly. Oops. Again with the charge thing. You can do that in the same motion. Uh. Oh no! Yeah, this instantly went away, huh? All right, you fuck. Ah! Oh, I'm facing the wall! Come on. This sucks. Like, just the fact that I can't Stop makes this kind of shit. And the angling! Oh boy. If I get very, 
very lucky. Fuck! I can't jump either, by the way. Fuck. The angling is not great either. Because it's really not clear which way Spyro is pointing when his body is constantly angled in the uh, skating animations. What am I doing up here? Yeah, that is where I thought that was, actually. Touch the ground in that entire intervening time. Now, obviously, since I died, his health is going to have reset, but it makes me wonder if I could walk away while he's uh, still alive and I'm still alive and go heal. We will never regain control of the armory without your help. It's an armory! Shoot it! There's literally nothing stopping you from walking around the edge and just placing bombs right there. There's grass and rocks and everything. I know that feet can go there. Actually, I'm not, I'm not actually sure that you can go there. For all I know, they're drawing power directly from the city plating. I don't know. But still! Well, that didn't work. Uh. I know I hit him a bunch of times just there, but this is entirely luck. I'm just pushing B whenever I'm facing even remotely in the right direction, or sometimes not. Uh, one more hit, I might as well try for it. Instead of doing the, uh, the... I'm gonna go recharging. No! Oh, thought that was it. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Uh, thank you, Robot. Since we're being formal and all. Excellent! Now I never have to do that ever again. There certainly aren't going to be four of those in the next game. Oh god, I hope that's true. I mean, I was saying that in a facetious manner, but... And I actually thought about it. Oh, right, if I just 100 percent at the level, then, uh, yeah, okay, I just need to go to the exit. Totally not an excuse to go up there and fly around one more lap. What? The free flight ones are cool. That's why I think a, uh, a game with a slightly older Spyro who can fly at will would be rad. I don't know if you keep the whole, you know, cartoony butterfly eating animation or anything, but I do feel like you make you continue the fodder as healing thing because, you know, dragon. Oh wait.
Why am I doing the perch on the edge animation there? That's weird. Nice city. Really. Lovely place to visit. Lots of electricity, though. Not sure I'd want to live there. Oh dear. I suddenly find myself wondering if there's, uh, the different endings, like in the last one, where they have the one ending that plays out if you got, uh, 100%, and the ending that plays out if you got anything else. Okay, let's head back to Robotica, given what we learned in the city. Yes, yes, he poisons the, uh, the wasps, and then the giant one shows up and cleans his clock. Howdy, Spyro! These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Sure find can. Your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more feeding pests. I'm not entirely convinced this is, uh... You know, the farm they were talking about. I was thinking about that in the last level. The fact that, uh... None of the animals we saw here were... Organic. Maybe that's what they're protesting. I suppose a machine taking your job is even more personal when you're, like, a cow and have done that job for thousands of years. grab that and spit it at the dude, instead of, like, trying to time my journey across the bridge. Alright, I suppose I should jump cut to the end of the level, so the part where we left off, huh? Here goes. that elevator in the uh, picture curious, because it took me a while to realize that if you look closely, it's got a button for the 13th floor, and uh, the tradition in North America, anyway, is not to have a 13th floor. You just label the 13th floor 14, and you go on from there. Those were not doing that before. Oh, it's a shortcut in case I fell. Oh, I'm up here now. Well, what can I see from up here? That. But that's just the path I need to run along, isn't it? Oh, I see! Yes, this is all the path I need to run along. Oh. Okay, I'll just find the other end. Oh, but... 
I could see this platform from it. There it is, over there! That's funny. Well, I know exactly where that is! In fact, I'm looking at it right now! Alright, alright, that one's more difficult. I think that'll be up there. In this direction. Because there's a bunch of seesaws back here. But were there missiles? No. Great. Okay, um... Uh, oh, I didn't actually think I could let say, uh, set foot up here. I'm surprised that that landed in any sense. Alright. No, no seesaw near that rocket. By the way, I determined it's really easy to get the four bugs. If you walk up to this one to send them over to that one, then you cross here, you stand right in front of them, and you let them come to you. Ah, well, you see, the, you see the point. Besides, they come back anyway once you complete it. Where the fuck could it be? Maybe back there. Ah, there it is. Yes, there's a rocket. There's the seesaw. Alright, one with a big stilled fan. That one's going, that one's going. I think there was one not going at the very oh, beginning of the level. How am I doing on gems? Most of the way there. Yes, that's not rotating. Is it back here at the very beginning? It is! Now I've got you! Thank you. So you can't tell, but I nodded approvingly at that number. Any gems over here? I'm just gonna check. Yeah, all right. All right, all right. Good, good, good. And that lighted panel on the wall is just a lighted panel on the wall. It was not anything else. Oh, that was convenient. I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could clear things up with a bit of supercharge? Sure. Someone does appear to have stolen your tractor, however. I'm just going to say that. Ah. Uh. Wow. I mean, I didn't expect it would stop me, it's just... But... A dead end. Now do I get back up? Yeah, this one kind of sucks. I'm gonna leave that, because I think I got the gems I meant to leave behind last time. So that jar will stay right where it is, and I'll get those as I do the runny. Why is this wall even here? Just to make it hard to get back over there? You know what? Fuck it. All 
right, it did not come back. I just need to... Right, okay. Yeah. I guess I have to do this all in one go, because it's not like the other power-ups. Right! rather forgiving. A fine piece of steer and that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. Oh no. Oh good, it's an orb. Yes, excellent. Now I'll just go back and wrap it up. Get those couple things I missed along the way. Admire the plastic and metal flowers. Oh dear. No, no, I got this. Okay, then just lead me to gems. I can see that one there. Are there any nearer ones? Ah, yes, the bridge does not point straight out. How, how amusing. Well. 390? It could be just that one. So, uh... Let's go get that jar and then call it a video. Fingers crossed! Nice. Okay, that should stop any more insurrections from spilling out of the farm. Thanks, farmer. Barley corn, was it? Is that the other one? Ah, oh! hey, hey. oh, yes, getting the wasps to kill themselves. I wonder who's even building the wasps. done. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage Reignited. Huh. Look at that. Guess I don't know what I'm doing first. Later!